world is made up of many cultures. Each culture has its own unique aspects, its spirit of the place. This is called Genius Well Side. Steel and glass reaching into the sky. Distinct island housing. Bamboo rising out of the jungle. An iconic statue. Africa is unique as well, and there's a big difference from the south to the north. A beehive hut. An ensaka. A round hut. A granary. A walled city. A mosque. But there is a problem. There is a myth or perception about African vernacular architecture when compared to Western architecture. Western materials and techniques are considered modern, correct, permanent, and if able to build, a status symbol. Vernacular materials and techniques are considered for the poor, makeshift, temporary, the past, and definitely not desired. Bamboo grows at a fast rate. The mud used for bricks is dug right out of sight. You cannot be more sustainable than that. The bricks are either dried by the sun or fired in a kiln. It is important to note just how important this idea of sustainability really is. Why import materials at a higher cost that are not local if the indigenous materials work? Metal panels are a great example. They're expensive and leave a large carbon footprint to bring to villages. But thatch is sustainable. It is renewable every season and is located close to the site. Safari lodges are an interesting example. They are beautiful, stunning structures built mainly with vernacular materials. But they are built for tourists who want to see the real Africa. I have created a network. I am in contact with someone from every African country, and an architect in almost every country as well. Construction in Africa is related to the seasons. If something is not done now, another year will pass with no documentation. I am launching this Indiegogo campaign to document the vernacular architecture in Malawi, Swaziland, and Lesotho. I will travel, collect data, and place this data on a website. I have already done this exact type of research for Zambia vernacular architecture. Why is this project important? Because architecture is an important part of the country's culture. And it has disappeared. I'd like to leave you with my favorite Bible to say, Wende Bueno Mune, when translated means, travel well. Life.